So I'm going to show you in today's video how to solve simultaneous equations so you get the answer right every single time. I'll show you a foolproof method and we'll be able to check our answer to make sure we've got it right. So let's start with this example first of all. 3x plus y equals 11, 2x plus y equals 8. Now what you're trying to do with simultaneous equations is solve the equations to find the value of x and to find the value of y. So that's the whole reason why we're solving them. Now, in order to begin solving them, we need to have the same coefficient for either the x value or the y value. And the coefficient, remember, is the number in front of the x or the y. So this is the coefficient of x, it's 3. 2 is the coefficient in front of this x, so they're not the same, so we're not ready to solve this equation. However, if you look at the two y values, we know that there's an invisible 1 in front of this y, the same goes for this y. So we do have the same coefficient, which means we're ready to start solving the equation. So the best way to do this is name them, both equation one and equation two. And all you want to do now is get rid of the y values, and you can do that by taking equation two away from equation one. So when we do that, we see we do three x minus two x equals x, y take away y means that the y's disappear, and 11 take away 8 is 3, so x equals 3. Now we're going to substitute in x equals 3 into, doesn't matter which equation you pick, I'm going to pick equation 1. So I'm substituting in x equals 3 into equation 1, keeping all the other values the same. What's 3 times 3? Well, it's 9 and then we need to isolate y, get it by itself, and we do that by taking away 9 from both sides, because 9 take away 9 is obviously 0, so we just have y on the left-hand side, 11 take away 9 is 2, and with these questions, it's worth rewriting out your final answer to make the examiner's life as easy as possible, they're more likely to give you the marks if you lay out your work properly, so we have x equals 3 and y equals 2, the way you check your answer is right is by substituting those values back into the original equations. Again, it doesn't matter which equation you pick. I'm going to pick equation 1. So equation 1 was 3x plus y equals 11. So substitute in x equals 3, y equals 2, and see what you get. Well, you get 9 plus 2 equaling 11, so we know that those answers are indeed correct. Obviously, we solve simultaneous equations by making sure the coefficients are the same, but it's also possible to solve them in a slightly different way in order to remove either the A or B, and I'm going to show you how to do that now with this example. So I've decided that I want my B coefficients to be the same, and therefore, in order to do that, I clearly need to multiply equation 2 by 2, and that becomes 8A minus 2b equals 60. I'm going to write out equation 1 beneath it just so that they're lined up, I can see what I'm doing. Now in order to get rid of the b values here, what I need to do is add them together because after all, minus 2b plus 2b equals 0. So let's call them equation 3 and equation 4 and in this situation I'm going to add them together. So what's 8a plus 3a? 11a. Minus 2b plus 2b means that the b's disappear. And then lastly, what's 60 plus 17? Well, that's 77. To get a by itself, we need to divide both sides by 11. So a equals 7. We're going to substitute in a equals 7 into equation 1. And look, I like giving every single step I'm doing to make it nice and clear for the examiner and for myself so I don't get confused. So a is 7 plus 2b equals 17, 3 times 7 is 21, and then we need to get 2b by itself, so we minus 21 from both sides to get 2b equals minus 4. To get b by itself, we divide both sides by 2, and b equals minus 2, and as before, I'm going to write out my answers again. And then I'm going to substitute in those values into equation 1 to check that the answers are correct. So I'm substituting a in as 7, b in as minus 2. And what do we get? Well, we get 21 minus 4 equals 17, which agrees with equation 1. So that is correct. In this example, we haven't been given the simultaneous equations. We have to work them out ourselves. Please don't panic. We can work it out as long as we read the question properly. 
So Mr and Mrs Jones take their two children to the cinema. The total cost is £33. Mr Harris takes his three children to the cinema and the total cost is £27.50. Calculate the price of a child's ticket and an adult's ticket. So we know that we have in the Jones family two adults going, two children going and that their cost of their tickets is £33. So I'm going to assign the letter A for the adults, that makes sense to me. And I know that there were two adults, Mr and Mrs Jones, so 2A. I'm going to assign the letter C for the children. There's two children, so I'm going to assign that 2C. Now, Mr Harris goes by himself, so he's only one adult, so he's 1A. He has three children, so therefore we have 3C. And now we can form our simultaneous equations, which for the Jones family will be 2A plus 2C equals their ticket price, which was £33. For the Harris family, it's going to simply be A plus 3C equals £27.50. So we're ready to go. Equation 1, equation 2, and I'm going to make the A coefficients the same by multiplying equation 2 by 2. So that becomes 2A plus 6C equals 55 and I'm going to call that equation 3, cross out equation 2 because I'm done with it. So what am I going to do now? Well, I'm going to take equation 1 away from equation 3. So 2a take 2a, it disappears. 6c minus 2c is 4c, and 55 minus 33 is 22. How do we solve for c? Well, we divide both sides by 4 to get a value which is 5.5. Now we're substituting in C into any of the equations. So I'm going to take the first equation. So 2A plus 2C, so that's two lots of 5.5, equals 33. 2A plus 11 equals 33. Therefore, 2A equals 22. We divide by 2 to make sure that A is by itself. So A equals 11. And now finish your answer by saying that the adult's ticket price is £11 and the child's is £5.50. Don't forget to finish your answer and then finally double check your answer by substituting those values back in. So back into equation 1, so 2a, so two lots of adult ticket prices, plus 2c, so two lots of child ticket prices. What does that work out to be? Well it's 22 plus 11 equals 33 which matches equation 1 so I know my answer is definitely right. Right, I want to show you some past exam questions just to show that it always works and they're always worth an awful lot of marks so it's worth nailing simultaneous equations. So let's use question two because it's not being blocked by my sidebar. So 6x plus 2y equals minus 3, 4x minus 3y equals 11. Now it doesn't matter which coefficient I make the same, I'm going to make my y's the same. So in order to do that, what is the common number that both 2 and 3 go into? Well it's 6. So I need to multiply equation 1 by 3, and I need to multiply equation 2 by 2. So let's do that now. So 6x times 3 is 18x plus 6y, and then minus 3 times 3 is minus 9. 4x times 2 is 8x, minus 3y times 2 is minus 6y, and then 11 times 2 is 22. So we've got equations 3 and 4. So how am I going to get rid of my y values? Well, I need to add them together. Because remember, minus 6y plus 6y is going to be 0. So 18x plus 8x is 26x. The y's disappear. And in terms of minus 9 plus 22, you get a value which is 13. To get x by itself, you need to divide both sides by 26. So x equals 0.5. I'm now going to substitute in x equals 0 0.5 into equation 1. So that's therefore 6 times 0 0.5 plus 2y equals minus 3. 6 times 0 0.5 is 3. Carry on writing out your equation. We need to isolate the y's, so we need to take 3 away from both sides to get minus 6 on the right-hand side. Divide by 2 to make y by itself, so y equals minus 3. And now let's double check our answer. So substituting into equation one, so six lots of x, so six times 0 0.5 plus two lots of y, which is minus three. What does that equal? Well, it equals minus three, which agrees with equation one. So I know my answer is right. Question eight, this is slightly different. So I want to show you how to solve these ones. 
Now you've got x squared plus y squared equals 25 and y minus 2x equals 5. And the issue here is you have squared values. So in order to solve this, you need to remove that squaring by square rooting equation 1. So what is x squared square rooted? Well, it's just x. y squared square rooted is just y. The square root of 25 is just 5. So that's now your new equation 1. Write out equation 2 underneath. And I don't like how it's written. I like to line up my x and y's, so I'm just rearranging equation 2 so that it is similar layout to equation 1. And now that's equation 2. So how can I remove the y values? Well, I can do that by taking equation 1 away from equation 2. So minus 2x minus x is minus 3x. The y's have disappeared. 5 take 5 is 0. Divide by 3 to get x by itself and x equals 0. So now I'm going to substitute in x equals 0 into y minus 2x equals 5. So y minus 2 lots of 0 equals 5. y minus 2 times 0 is 0, so that disappears. So y equals 5. And let's just double check that that works by substituting it into equation 2. So it becomes minus 2 times 0 plus 5 equals, well, minus 2 times 0 is 0, plus 5. So that equals 5, which agrees with equation 2, so I know my answer is right. Hope you found this video really helpful, guys. Don't forget to sub if you found it helpful, so you keep up to date with my next uploads, and please like it. I'll be back soon. Take care. Bye.